What's up, everyone? It is block started in a second. Doing a uh, off night stream here tonight. Uh, what took yesterday off? I was kind of a uh, kind of beat. Felt like a good opportunity to get some rest, kind of recharge the batteries, and hope hopefully that pays dividends today. So tonight. I Got a, I got a few Sega CD games here. Five. They're all developed by Cordy. Quickly. Oh. oh, come on. Come on now. It's, uh, I'm not seeing it go, so it might be cutting out. If it, apologize for that. Ways gate is cutting it off but uh tonight again as i said uh we are, are i do have some games from core design let me cut over my webcam i intended to do hey everybody uh hope everybody's having a good weekend um again if the microphone is cutting out i do apologize um streamlabs has been having some problems lately i mine keeps crashing and doing things so um i i don't know i i always seem to have audio problems especially with it um that I don't know how to fix. That is something that I, I'm always tweaking and trying to trying to better at. Um, but the Sega CD, this I'm I'm holding one of the games in my hand and I'm, while I'm looking while I'm talking. Uh, the Sega CD, it it didn't when Sega released it. Uh, really, one of the biggest benefits of it was full motion video and ability to like to give CD quality audio, but it also included the capability of, of sprite scaling and rotation that the Sega Genesis base hardware did not have. And the Super Nintendo did, from my understanding, uh, but the Sega, Sega Genesis did not until the uh, Sega CD came out. And one of the developers that made the best use of this during the lifespan of the Sega CD for design. I've got, a, I've got a few of them here. Uh, the first one of the night will be Thunderstrike. Um, which is kind of a it's kind of a uh, helicopter attack action game. Uh, you play it in first person, which we'll see. Um, it was really well received. It was published by JVC. This is called Thunderstrike. Uh, it's called or this one this the U.S. version is called Thunderstrike. The uh, it's released under a different name. I think it's Thunderhawk. Other territories, um, but uh, like a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, Sega CD or Sega CD and Sega Saturn games do come with these like foam inserts to keep the disc in place. Uh, the discs themselves aren't too nothing really to write home about. Um, but yeah, uh, the boxes like Sega CD and Saturn boxes have always really impressed me. Other than the fact that they're very fragile, see that giant crack right across this one. Um. The cases can be replaced nowadays. There's a couple people, a couple uh, manufacturers, um, but limited run games is is one of them. They don't do batches very often, and they're kind of expensive. They're like bucks a piece. And then the one on Amazon is decent enough. I I bought some from them, and they're like five, but they don't fit every game. And that's kind of a bummer because, like, uh, my my games from uh, Working Designs don't fit in them. So I, it's it's kind of a bummer there. Uh, nothing really to write home about in the manual. It is black and white, uh, sadly. Um, but, I mean, the cover, again, is really is really nice. And then it's, of course, awesome blue stripes back. Known for... Know about from the Sega CD... Uh, or what the Sega CD is known for. Uh, without any other kind of delay, let's go ahead and pop this Sega CD. It started with the first game of the night. I will be playing on my actual copies here. I'm way behind on my backups. I normally play my Sega CD games on. Very rarely do I play um, these copies, except to just make sure that they're, they're working initially. Um, try to play on the backup copies. 
There we go. Whoops. Oh well, I killed it. I'm sorry. This game, despite the fact that it is fairly cheap and affordable, this game is actually pretty good. Do I, I mean it, it's? It, it kind of looks like one of those types of EA style games where it's like maybe maybe the quality isn't the best. We're gonna play this on easy. Um, but it's a deep game. There's a lot of levels to this. Oh, I can, I can name my dog tag. I forgot about this. Come on. Oh. Weird. So A is delete and C is actually confirm. See if I can fit this on here. Only two Ds. Very sensitive. No! <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm just going to be called Cursed. <laughs> um, But yeah, each one of these dots represents a level, and there's just... A lot of levels. Uh oh. Guess I'm playing this level. Because <laughs> it, w it wouldn't move. Welcome to Fort Kiowa? Kiowa? Get a cutscene. Recon has located the crash site. Your priority is to destroy the stealth in order to prevent it from falling into enemy hands. We have sighted tanks guarding the area. However, the main threat will be the mobile SAM sites which litter this zone. Well, we're going to have to do something about that then. Riveting stuff here. A completely Recon static image, and it's track. just the map moving Your around. The <laughs> is to destroy the stealth in order to prevent it from falling into enemy. The uh, the we the sound compression is is area. kind However, of surprising for this as well. Sites, it's not though. very good, like not at all. <laughs> Recon has located the okay. That's enough of that. There, there's nothing going on. It's just a map going around and around. And it's, not, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. I just want to jump in and blow stuff up. Trust me, there'll be a lot of that. A tree. Okay, how do you climb? I need to go up. My my altitude. I, I am too low. Perhaps I should have uh, paid attention. No. Music is nice. So, we, I've got a problem. I don't know how to climb altitude right now. I'm 
going to need to figure that out. Get out of here. Get out of oh, here. Oh, no. I keep hitting trees. Okay, if I... I'm sorry. I failed the mission because I kept running into trees because I didn't know how to how to increase elevation. I'm gonna die. I died. <laughs> All right, let's check the manual on this. Uh, I was looking right at it too. Oh, yeah. I I I straight up died. Lost heroes. Okay. Where are the controls? So, so my uh, my guy doesn't die again. You can arrange the button controls for fire selection and throttle in any way you wish, but directional pad. Okay. Doesn't tell me a whole lot. All right. Well, manual was not helpful at all. Let's try that again, but better this time. At least we have good music along the way. It's always a good thing. I can promise my ineptitude at the the initial uh, attempt here is not going to taint this game any further. Uh -oh. oh, there's no game to load because I died. No, 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 wait a minute. Let's do South America. Cut my teeth on like the first mission rather than the uh, second mission. No, 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 no. We're not. I don't want to listen to you, dude. You're not Your worth it. This. Your job is what? Be quiet and listen. It, maybe he would have explained how to actually increase elevation. Okay. Alright. So... Okay, so left and right does that. Apparently, I cannot increase elevation. Incoming bandit. Again, at least the music is excellent. Blow up some tanks. Something's shooting me. Stop shooting me, whoever you are.
I'm gonna get you. Why can I not shoot you? Incoming bandit. Frank right. You're off course. I know that. But I don't know what I don't know the controls right now. Also, I think I used all of my rockets trying to shoot at that helicopter. That helicopter keeps shooting at me. I wish it would stop. Incoming missile. Uh oh. I keep running into these trees. Bank left. You're off course. Bank left. You're off course. Am I? Okay. Okay, why can't... Get out of here! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die again Back because I don't know how to increase elevation. Hmm. This has happened before in a game where I could not figure out the controls and then, uh, Ultimately, uh, had to give up. Cause I, it seems like that should be. Yeah, I died. Rip. Oh. I figured this game out before, but it's been a while since I've played it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I died. Make fun of me, game. Okay. We'll give this one more try and then we'll move on. I don't I don't want I don't want my own failings to be on display for too long. Um This is on easy too. Like what what's going on? Throttle. So shouldn't throttle wouldn't that, like, allow me to increase my elevation? I'm gonna try that again. We're gonna get it right this time, I swear. <laughs> Do this. Leroy! Your job on this. Your job is to blow up everything. See if I can figure it out this time. Yeah. Yeah, apparently C does not work. Throttle is a lie. The throttle is a lie.
Incoming bandit. Uh oh. Incoming missile. Got him. Okay. I need to save the missiles for the, uh... And there is this in this incoming bandit. It, it's still kind of amazing at at its core that this is really just the Sega Genesis with a little extra hardware for scaling and rotation. shoot whatever it is that's flying around me. Yeah, like that thing. My mission is complete. Can I leave? What do I do? Do I just leave the area? I did it. Yay! <laughs> I completed the mission. That was level one. And I completed it without realizing how to increase altitude. They're probably like, you are the worst pilot we have ever had. Congratulations on completing your mission. I don't know how to spell mission. When? There we go. Listen to you, br briefing guy. Our base is under attack. We're being under shot attack. by artillery. The attack is closely supported by trucks and APCs. The two advancing tank divisions heading the assault must be destroyed in order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's blow stuff up. Like those would be a lot more tolerable if there was more to them. Uh oh. Yeah, what do I do? What do I do? Like, seriously, what do what do you what do? How do I? How do I? Okay, <laughs> we're gonna call it call it on this game. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Because, I don't, I don't know, maybe it's my controller, because I am using the uh, 8 bit Doe. Um, but for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to like it. Let's try that. We'll try Thunderhawk or Thunderstrike another time. And hopefully, I, this doesn't happen with the other games I've got. If so, I'll have to get another controller. I don't have one in reach. But that's Thunderstrike. 
Um, I swear it's a good game. Just not playing well. It's being temperamental. It's having an off night. We all have those. Um, so, the next game on the docket is an, it, another game by Core, obviously. The, this one is called uh, Battle Core, and this is kind of like a robot mech type game, and it's it's very similar to Thunderstrike in that it, it's like a first-person style game. Uh, the, this case is a little bit better. It's kind of scratched up. I don't know if you can see it, but you got, you got a guy yelling on the back saying, get this. Like that that was that was nineties marketing for you. But inside, not much to talk about. Blue disc. And a, another black and white manual with again, very good cover art. I I, I I really do like the cover art that you see on a lot of games out of this era. Yeah, manual is completely black, black and white. Um, staples are not rusted. A lot of times you do see the staples rusted. Um, this does support the six button. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that. Maybe Thunderstrike didn't support the six button pad properly, and it was. I don't know. Because there are some games like that. that they, they, they don't like six-button pad versus button pad. And it's kind of because Sega... They, they made so many hardware changes during the Genesis era. And that kind of really came to define them over the years. Because they, you know, they'd add like the Sega CD or the Sega 32X and pushed out the Saturn. You know, they, they never really... They always had all these ideas for hardware... But they never really fulfilled many. I mean, the Saturn had an internet mode. How many people? Um, but only five games of the Saturn library supported it. It it almost. But I mean, to be fair, only one game really supported the GameCube. So it's not. It wasn't just Sega there putting out hardware that underdeveloped. Um, but. Yeah, this, there, there's not really a whole lot to say about this one. It's kind of a... It, it is a first-person mech game. It's very similar to Slender Strike. Um, design. But I kind of like this one a little bit better than Slender Strike on a personal level. And again, if this one does not work, does not seem to be working as well, for whatever reason, with the 8-bit dough... 30 I will go grab like a retro bit or a wired roller and that instead. But there really should not be a reason why the 8-bit dough doesn't work. Battle Core from Sega Core Design Limited. I didn't actually know there was that. All right, let's check out our options. We're going to play on easy because I'm a wimp. Control A and Control B. I don't explain them. What the manual is for. I did see this in the. Uh, Stand by. Remember, remember that time when manuals were actually used. This is one of those times. Um. Mode A. 
Add. I don't know if it matters. This, this is how it describes it. But it's like this big long description of how mode A and mode B work. But it, it it's kind of not the best. So we're just gonna stick with mode A. Control option A. Loading, loading, feet, loading. Yes, yes, yes. Title screen. The back. Oh, I'm entering. Wait, I confirmed the practice mode. I don't. want to play in the practice mode doing to me game are you trying to tell me something that i need to practice before i play this okay well this is the game So walking is kind of automatic. Exit. How do you exit practice mode? Well, I have an idea of how you exit practice mode. Suicide out <laughs> of the practice mode. Take a bath in the lava. It's always a good idea. All right, that's the end of the practice mode. Start the game. Remember what I said about you being the me being the worst pilot possible? This is one of those one of those times. Um, Dick is a deep splice polymorph with a download of cybersite. Wait, what? Dick is a deep splice polymorph with a download of cybersitosis. He's a heavy hitter, and in a firefight, he's worth his weight in ordnance. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. But that voice acting is just making me laugh. Jack Cutter. Jack, Jack Cutter. In the core. Five of them in the cyberform dumb job. His bioware has got more edges than a Battlescape polyhedron. <laughs> there is so much edge in these descriptions. Becky Ojo. Becky's a pumped up kickboxer from the corporate. A pumped up kickboxer. Better than a Yakuza hipster. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, we're going to play as Jack Cutter just because Jack apparently is the, uh, the even choice across the board uh, on stats. What's this? 
re-rendered 3D in my Sega CD. There was actually a few games like that. Um, Bill Feed is probably the most well-known, having some re-rendered. So this one's kind of a kind of unique in the sense that really all you do is control the speed of your mech, either reverse or forward, and then the the turning. Let's go blow some stuff up. Figure out the, uh... That's useless. I have a flamethrower. That's cool. I have missiles. Whoa, I, yeah, I just walked right into that. Being shot at by something. There we go. Got him. What just happened? Oh, my machine gun's overheated. I'm being shot at by something now. Wait, why, why, why did those missiles all miss? There's some jank going on here. the hang of this one eventually because it seems straightforward enough okay, we got that one got that one I have lots of health too so we we should be okay if, and if nothing else we're gonna have some good music to deal with Is this? Okay, I'm gonna. We're gonna sprint across. I don't know where I'm going. Come on now. Sega CD, play, uh, this game plays the Sega CD strengths. Scaling, rotation, quality audio, FMVs, core design did, from a technical level, core design was, was just absolutely fantastic in how they handled the Sega CD being shot at. What is shooting at me? We're 
gonna sprint you you're dead so bye no 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 must go for go forward not backwards was a boss apparently not oh but I, there, there's still more shooting at me here ah what's still shooting at me there's hostiles everywhere I think we survived. Yep. We did it. We survived. I still don't know the use of this because it's impossible to judge the distance. Yeah, that's that's not useful. Game that is not useful to me. That one. Yeah, the pixels are real in this game, but... Got missiles. What are you gonna do? There. No. No, what is going on? He's wanting to back up. Why are you backing up? Here we go. I keep getting shot by this thing and I don't have I don't know where my Here we go. This is the target. Yes, my shield is very low. I am in pain. Uh oh. No! I'm gonna get taken out by this thing. No! Ah! Awful. Absolutely awful. I died on the first level again. Jack. Jack Cutter. Failed me, Jack Cutter. Oh, is Jack dead? Did I kill him? Is that my continue? Can I use Jack Cutter again? I cannot use Jack Cutter again. Jack Cutter is dead. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna use uh, Dicka because I killed Jack. I'm sorry, Jack. <laughs> I am sorry that I killed Jack Cutter. What we got here? I got missiles, I got all the other stuff. 
all the same. Okay. Whatever that voice just said, I barely heard it. And I think all he was really saying was blow up everything and don't run into mines. I got. I wish I could use these. Okay, these these things are useless. They are so useless. Also, it doesn't help that when I, I get shot whenever I shoot. Whenever I get shot by these towers, I back up. There. shot me. Something shot me. Let me go forward. I don't think I like the idea that when you walk into something, it backs up. Like, I, I don't think that was a good idea. I'm about to die again. Like, I don't know why they have you walk over things that catch on fire. And there's no health anywhere. I died. This is uneasy too. What does that say about me as a gamer that I can't even beat the first level of this? It does not speak well. I'm sorry, Dicka, you died too. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a game over on this. I'm gonna play with the pump. I'm gonna use the character that is the pumped up kickboxer now. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see how this goes. If I die again, uh, we'll take a fiver and then uh, we'll try the last game of the night. I kind of want to try Thunderhawk again, though, with a different controller, because something was wrong there.
There. Well, oh, if I can't, like, range with these things, I'm just gonna use them up close, I guess. a lot more aggressive this time and just kind of go for it. But yeah, this, this, you must cross the lava to proceed, so you must take damage. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. Many of these mines. Yeah, I'm in trouble already. Wait, why do I keep getting hit by stuff? And now I'm getting. Now I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in the lava again. charge my shield. It'd be nice if they gave me that option. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's it. I died! I killed all three of my characters. Whoops. Whoopsie. Where the game laughs at me. Wow, you are bad. We're playing on easy. Could not beat the first level. The cutscene. Or I get fired out of a cannon for killing all the main characters. <laughs> Your number's up, sweet game. Game over. Game over. That's kind of neat. Kind of interesting how they they you only get one life per character. And if they die, they're dead. You really fragged it, sweet meat. I don't know how I feel about that. You should have sent a bit in a battalion. End. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna take take five here, and then we're gonna switch to the last game of the night, which is Soul Star, and. Then, you know, we'll call it. Be about five minutes. Be right back.
All right. So I go over to my go. Um, so last game of the night again is uh, Soul Star. Uh, this is probably my favorite of the bunch, and I'm gonna try and have to figure out what was going on with Thunderstrike because I know I I know it's a bunch better game than I showcased here tonight. Um, because I've played it past a lot more fun than that. <laughs> But um, this one is kind of an into the screen uh, shmup, and it's kind. It, I mean, it's very impressive on a technical. Level. Um, it's hard to get too far in this, but it it it's a very impressive game. One of those types of games that you really can't believe came out on the uh, or on fourth gen hardware. Um, so it, it, it's kind of Star Fox like in, in a lot of ways, but, um, there's the cover. This cover is a little bit nicer than this game is kind of rare too. It's kind of hard to, it's, it's kind of pricey on eBay if you're looking for this, but I, I don't necessarily recommend that for this, this game. Um, it's good. It's not, not eBay price good. Um, again, very, very simple disc. Design. Uh, one thing that is kind of interesting, there is, this is a box variant with a printing error. There, that is the Sega seal of quality in the corner, uh, by my fingers. And as you notice, it doesn't say Sega on it. So that's kind of, a kind of a, uh, a, a unique thing about this one. Just for comparison's sake, you see how it says Sega there. Um, it, it's just kind of a kind of a neat thing. It's not really any more rare or valuable. It's just kind of kind of cool um, to, to see those types of box variants. Uh, nothing really to write home about in the uh, the manual. Again, it is black and white. Nothing too flashy. Um, this one is actually in pretty good shape. Uh, the, like the staples aren't aren't rusted that um but the, let's go ahead and and jump in far see how far we get Cut scenes. Oh, that seems bad. Did them for centuries. Search for the destructive evidence of their presence in the spaces between the stars. Wait, have I actually hunted them for centuries? I feel like we're just meeting now. I will face my most ancient enemy that I have never met before. This game was actually supposed to come out on the 32X as well, but they canceled it because Sega, again, they pulled the plug on it. On the 32X, I mean. So, 
go to option. Okay, there, yeah, there's no difficulty settings here. Uh, my control options are normal, up and down. A is fire, B is select, C is special. Y is torpedo, what is X? Normal, oh, that up, down is normal or reverse, okay. We'll just keep it in, in, on one. Oh, that's the, like the actual game credits, not like, okay, we're done. Mark, sorry. It is a two, like all of these, are, are like, not to expect that. The Mercoids have flown a warp ship into the Sol Star system. Your primary objective is to gain access to the warp ship. The mission has three phases. Phase one, penetrate the Mercoids' first line of defense. Phase two, destroy the interceptor bases on the planet Lara. Phase three, penetrate the Mercoids' second line of defense and enter the warp ship. This is a rather formulaic as well. Like mo just about every level is like that. What was just described. Ah. I don't know what it was that I just used, but I used it. Oh, I just upgraded my, uh, my primary fire. The health, the, uh, the shield system in this game is kind of weird too. Shoot me. Okay. I think that's phase one. Yeah, now phase two is... We're going along the planet's surface. Almost very much like uh, the game I played last week uh, that I'm now blanking on. I need to stop running into things. Stop shooting me. Again, quality audio from the Sega CD. Space Harrier, there we go. That's the game I was thinking about earlier. I should have known that. Like, what is that game? It begins with an S.
We're taking off. Going in as I get shot. All right, now my ship is going to transform into a bi into a uh, not a bipedal robot, but I, this is a uh, a level that you play in 3D space. Destroy the primary computer located at the center of the interior. Phase two, activate any one of the three warp gates by disabling the orbs surrounding the opposing power pylons. Phase three, engage the activated warp gate by landing on the adjacent circular launch platform. Okay, let's do that. I'm being hit. Oh, this is this is not good. What do I do? I have not hit the enemy once. This is this is really bad. Okay. Um Come on. I get no other. Uh oh. Wait, what? What is this? Okay, now I can. I'm gonna die. I died. I have no idea what I was doing there. But, but whatever I was doing, it was wrong. That's the point. Luckily, it's going to give me another try. Yeah, I know. I know what I got to do. Kind of.
Stop shooting me. Why aren't these missiles working? Wait a minute. Why, why am I not moving forward? That's the other question. Oh, I lost my upgrades. Okay. I think I figured it out. I Maybe. We're going to try this. good. What do I do? I don't recognize what I'm supposed to do. I died. I blew up the computer. <laughs> did one the I did one thing right. Oh. All right. Hmm. Let's listen to to the lady again. Warp gates located inside the ship. Your the primary warp objective gate. is to activate one of these and warp to another sector in the Soul Star system. Okay. The mission has three phases. Phase one: destroy the primary computer located at the center of the interior. Okay, Phase we did two, that. Activate any one of the three warp gates by disabling the orbs surrounding the opposing power pylons. Phase okay. three. Engage the act. Okay, that's what I was doing wrong. By landing on the adjacent I'm supposed to shoot the platform. orbs. Now remember that. Shoot orbs. Okay. Okay. I think I got it this time. We're gonna I think we're gonna gonna win. Maybe. Stop shooting me. There we go. Okay, I, de I defeated the computer, but I don't know what I'm doing now. Okay, I got that one. No, I didn't. There. Oh, I keep running into things. Why am I dying? Oh, 
Oh no. Why won't you die? Oh no, I ran out of time. Oh, this is bad. I got it, I got closer. Oh, they gonna give me another try? I need another try, come on. Come on, give me another try. Don't you game over me, game. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I think it's going to be. That cutscene says game over, man. Game over. Yeah, game over. Press start to continue. We're going to continue. We're going to continue until... I beat this level. Mainly because I got another got another half hour here. Yes, yes, yes. I know about the warp gates. I know what we're doing. Maybe. Stop shooting me. I am a friend that wants to destroy you. That's it, right? That's all I gotta do, right? There we go. I did it! We did it! We've advanced. Gone to the next level. Planet Vulcan? Wait, wait. Is that Star Trek? Your primary objective is to destroy the excavator. The mission has three phases. Phase one, successfully negotiate the asteroid field. Phase two, access the main tunnel and destroy the Mercoid factories. Phase three, neutralize the Mercoid excavator. All right, well this we will... Touch this. No, I got hit by an asteroid.
Well, I have a giant energy blast weapon. Whoops. Again, from a technical level, this game, it, it, it's probably one of the most advanced games you can get on the 16-bit the 16 era. And I'm just keep, I'm just gonna get, keep getting shot, apparently. the moment. Uh oh. Oh, did I die? Did, did I? I died. No, I didn't. Now I did. Now I died. <laughs> uh, well, we crashed the gate and then I died. Let's do that better. Uh oh. No! Oh, stop shooting me. No, stop it. I'm going to die. Mainly because I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, I got him. I got him. He dead. I used like my super missile or something. Okay, now we now we have the uh, the super advanced bipedal robot version of my ship. I don't know what the mission is here. At least they have a lock on. Yeah, I, I, I am, I am dead. Yeah, there it is. Rip. Try that again. But better this game. I think this game came out in 
stop shooting me. I don't know how to dodge that. No, stop it. Can I jump over the shots? Is that is that what I'm supposed to do? Because I kind of feel like I'm not going to last five seconds on this level. quite know what I'm supposed to do. And I die. Okay. We'll give that one more go. See if I can figure it out, then we'll call it. For the night. These games are all very hard. Like, core design, they made some difficult games. Even on easy, like, I'm getting my butt kicked by some of these. Okay, let's see. Apparently, I, I do have rocket boosters, which is kind of cool. Well, I'm not I'm not totally helpless, just mostly helpless. I don't know what these robots on the sides are. Okay, since I discovered the rocket boots, or the rocket boosts, not boots, I seem to be doing okay. Let's see how far and how long I, I can survive this, because there's a lot to this level, apparently. No! Don't shoot me! You cannot... I'm just gonna unload like all of my rockets. Like, why not? You don't. Why are those not dying?
Like, those should be dying a lot quicker, in my opinion. a game like this isn't too bad. No! No, you! I just can't kill all of them first. That's not good. Where are all these things? keep like there they go other than no this is like the slowest robot ever Also, like, everything in here is taking, like, five shots to kill. And that's very disappointing. Because I've only got, like, my base shot right now. And it's not killing anything. Oh, come on. I'm gonna die. Yeah, there it is. God. That's such a hard level. That It's a very hard level. My hands hurt from that level. Let's see if I can do that better.
Ah, I keep getting shot. Like this. You only have so many missiles. Take too too many shots. Shot by things. No, stop shooting me. that actually does. Okay. We're close. Down to the last five. There we go. Yes. We beat it. We beat it. We did it. We beat the level. I'm so happy. Now we're my my hand hurts from. Cuz I basically had to hold the B button the entire level. 
on that. That should not be the case. Whoa, hello. That is... evil. Stop! What... What am I supposed to do with this? Can't shoot those? Come on. I'm just getting wrecked right now. I really don't it's it's hard to judge the depth of these rocks. I don't think I'm doing any damage uh, to the boss right now. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died. Yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. Try that again. My hands hurt from that. Like, this game is asking a lot of me. The depth on this on this section just really does not translate. There. I'm gonna kill this boss. There. You're dead. I got you. Planet Twinger. The Merkoids have established a tractor beam device yes. beneath the surface of the Twingan Ocean. With this device, this game really does ask a lot of your hands. Cause it to impact with the planet. Your primary objective is to neutralize the tractor beam. The mission has two phases. Phase one. Fly across the surface of the Twingan Ocean and penetrate the Merkoid defenses. Twingan Ocean? Is that like the Gungan? The tractor beam generators on the ocean like from Star Wars? This game came out like four years before Star Wars. Or Star Wars Episode One, I should say.
shot way too much for this. Uh-oh. Are the missiles? that. I reached the sprite limit. Got him. Oh, but there's another. survived but for how long <laughs> oh we're going underwater forty eight 48 of what? What what am I supposed to shoot at? I think that's a game over. Is it? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna call it there. It's almost 11 o'clock anyway. Uh, also, my fingers hurt. <laughs> uh, Soul Star is of the three. Soul Star is definitely definitely my favorite. Um, but it's very expensive. Like a lot of shmups out there. Th this one I think is over a hundred dollars. Tough to justify that price. Uh, the other two are fairly affordable. I think they're like 30 bucks. Box. 
Um, but yeah, core, core. I mean, obviously the first two, Battle Core and Thunderstrike, I was having some trouble with. Uh, less so with uh, Soul Star because it's a little bit more straightforward. Um, I'll probably revisit Thunderstrike at some point just because it is it is a good game. I swear, I swear it's a good game. But the uh, for whatever reason, I, I some of the controls are are weird. Oh, it's gonna have me gonna have me put in my my uh, credentials. Oh no 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 no! There we go. I put my I put myself in as C D and like seven S's. Apparently you have to do it that way. Um But yeah, the other two are fairly cheap. Soul Star is kind of expensive, fortunately, but it is really the best of the three. Um yeah, core they they really did some pretty impressive stuff with this. Um, they they leverage the scaling and the sprite scaling in animation very well. Um, Cutscenes in their games that had great audio. Um, I do want to play again. I want to play Thunderstrike again at some point once I figure out what was going on with the controls there. Um, you're supposed to go like supposed to be able to increase in lower elevation and do some other stuff with it, and I don't know what that was all about. Um, but obviously, it, I'm, it's pro it's more than likely it's ninety nine percent chance it's me rather than the controller. But we'll have to figure that out. Um, but uh, that'll be it for tonight. Uh, thank you to everybody that stopped by. Um, it will uh, next week. What I'm gonna play? I might go modern, like I because. I, I've got a couple of PlayStation 4 games that I've been wanting to play, and I haven't really gotten around to them yet. Um, in particular, I, I like to play Gravity Rush. Uh, I've played Gravity Rush Remake a couple of times uh, on my own time, but not for the street. And then I like I would like to play Gravity Rush 2 at some point. So I play Gravity Rush. Um, Gravity Rush is crazy, by the way. Really good. I definitely recommend it. Um, but we'll see. I might change my mind, but we'll see next week. Uh, but it will probably be something a little bit more modern than uh, the Sega Genesis 32X Sega CD playing for the last month or so. Uh, but until then, have a great night and have a great weekend. Night, y'all.